Welcome to part four of VR in 3ds Max Interactive. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can make objects collidable using physics actors and how this has an effect on the areas that we can teleport to when we're using VR. And we'll finish off with um, how to set the starting point. At this stage, we've just imported our content from 3ds Max and tweaked the material. So it may not be a bad idea to test things out and take a look at what we have. So I'm going to do that by clicking on the test level button here in the upper left. And I'm going to look straight up as quickly as possible. And you can see that we're falling away from the front loader when we start the level. And the reason that happens is basically because nothing is collidable. And so we just start falling right away. And this is the default behavior because the, the more objects that are collidable in the level, the more load it's going to take on the CPU, the more CPU expensive it's going to be. So ideally, uh, we should only have the objects that are deemed necessary be collidable. And obviously, um, the floor is one of those necessary objects, because if not, well, we fall right through. So um, let's go ahead and address that right away. So I'm going to double click on the ground in the asset browser, and that will bring it up in the unit editor. And in the unit editor, I'm going to right click on the ground and uh, choose create physics actor. So if I were to test this out right away, everything would work fine. But what I'm also going to do again in the name of efficiency is change the shape that's used to determine the collision to the simplest shape possible. Now, by default, it's set to mesh, which means it's using the actual uh, shape of the object. And that's also the most CPU expensive option uh, that we have here. So we should ideally choose the simplest shape that gives us a reasonable representation of how we're going to uh, collide with this object. So in this case, a box is fine um, or ideal, we'll say. Um, once that's done, I'm going to hit save. And the other thing this does is that now this makes the object um, valid when it comes to teleportation areas. So in VR, we can teleport and also physically walk to the areas we want to go to. Um, but we cannot teleport to objects that are not collidable. So that's another important aspect. So um, let's just go ahead and test this out. And you'll see that when we start the level, great, we're not falling through the floor. Um, but one other problem is that, well, we are also right in the middle of the front loader. So by default, we'll always appear in the middle of our level, which is occupied by the front loader. So let's go ahead and address that. And to determine where the user will um, not only be positioned, but be facing is with the player start. So here in create, I'm going to choose player start and drop this down. And I also want the user to be facing the front loader. So at this point, um, you can see that the there's an arrow pointing over here. So that means the user is going to be looking off to the side of the front loader. So let's just use rotate to roughly point him uh, in the right direction. So there we go. And if I test out the level now, you can see we're not only in front of the front loader, but also facing it. 